Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. This holiday weekend was slower than last year, but still the third busiest Thanksgiving in recent history on I-70 through Summit. Nearly 195,000 cars passed through the tunnels in five days, Wednesday through Sunday. Slower than last year, busier than 2020, just about equal to 2019. 2006 was the busiest ever. This Saturday was the busiest day with just over 43,000 cars, followed by Wednesday and Sunday at roughly 42,000 each. U.S. 6 above Arapaho Basin closed for nearly four hours just before sunrise today for an avalanche. Presley Fowler at CDOT. It only covered the westbound lanes, and thankfully there were no cars caught in it and no injuries. Plows cleared the road, but conditions still were not stable. Once daybreak hit, they did that avalanche mitigation work. I believe some more snow did come down during that. Loveland Pass is open again for now. Fowler says they will closely watch conditions tonight with another blast of snow and wind in the forecast. To our north and west, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center has issued an avalanche watch. Areas around Steamboat, Aspen, and Crested Butte could see nearly two feet of new snow by tomorrow afternoon. This heavy snow combined with gusty winds means avalanche danger will be changing fast. Check the latest forecast around 5 o'clock tonight and again tomorrow morning. The U.S. Forest Service reminds you to keep your wheels on pavement this winter. All Forest Service roads are now closed to wheeled vehicles, including the dirt roads at Vail Pass and Boreas Pass beyond the gate. Every winter, at least a few cars get stuck up there. Last winter, a Lexus nearly made it to the Shrine Pass bathrooms up on Vail Pass before it stalled out. The Dillon Marina is about to enjoy a massive payday. We're going to take it out of Enterprise Fund status and put it into the general fund. That was town manager Nathan Johnson. Enterprise funds are like businesses inside of town government. They need to make back as much as they spend, and that was hurting the marina. You couldn't really tackle a lot of projects or undertake a big project because you'd either have to piece it together year after year, or you would just have to put it in a sinking fund and let it sit there and accumulate over time to where you could tackle that. Before this, the marina could use about $200,000 from the general fund. Next year alone, it gets about five times that. In sports, the Nuggets play the Rockets at 7 tonight. No podiums for American skiers at a pair of World Cup races over the weekend. Michaela Schifrin took fifth at yesterday's slalom in Killington, the best of anyone. Making their way now to Beaver Creek are World Cup skiers for the Birds of Prey races coming up this weekend. Two downhills and one Super G starting Friday. And in local sports, a Basin's upgraded Lenaway six-pack did not open over the weekend as expected, and neither did the Upper Mountain. Head honcho L. Hensroth says... Mia culpa, admitting he was either too optimistic or underestimated just how long this project would take. He now expects it to open in mid-December. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics in Neurosurgery.